Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of my LEGO Terrain Automation Project. In the previous video I showed you that I had some trouble with my sensor wiring. And I solved that by splitting the controller for both side tracks to two controllers. One controller per side track. Now I'm going to show you how it all works now. Uh, we got a little sensor here. If it detects a train it sends a signal through this wire to the Arduino controller. And the Arduino controller can then do two things. One is letting the train go straight ahead, and the other thing is flipping the switch and park the train on the side track. Now if it decides to do that, I'll show you in a second how it goes. The train runs on this side track here, which is um, powered by the uh, main track, and it stumbles across this isolated track segment here. You see there's an isolation point here, and there's also an isolation point there. And it's connected, this isolated track segment, by this wire that goes through the controller. So when this train is coming up after the switch is flipped, that isolated track segment is powered and the train will go, 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 until it hits the sensor here. And the sensor gives back feedback that the train has arrived at the point to be stopped. And the controller powers off the isolated segment and the train will stop. Now if you want to start a train again, you just power on the segment again and the train will continue its journey. Once the motor hits this rail over here, which is continuously powered again, it will just leave the sidetrack and continues away on the main loop. So now I'm going to show you how the uh, switch motor works. It's pretty basic simple. I just turn on the control module, the power module. And there it is. I removed the click system from the uh, switch because um, with the click system you need a lot more force and also time to switch it. And now it's very smooth and I can switch it in only 200 milliseconds, which gives me a very fast system. Furthermore, also the signal here is on IO test mode and you can see that it's turning red and green and also this isolated track segment is powered on and off by the IO test I'm gonna show you now by moving the train a bit forward and you see that it's automatically switch on and off again to test if it all works and it does alright that's it thank you for watching the um, next video will be about uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, maybe about the crossing or something. There are also a few crossings in this layout. And um, I hope to see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. Thanks. Bye.